the most successful people that you probably know and the ones that you see on television, uh, more than likely they have some sort of discipline, especially athletes. Discipline, how I view it as, is uh, every day. And it doesn't have to be like every, every day, but I would say that out of the week, probably four to five days, because sometimes as humans, you need to take some time off, rest, recover. You know, usually most people do that on the weekends. So let's just say that five, four or five days out of the week, every day they stick to a routine whether that's morning afternoon night routine and they pretty much do the same thing every day um of course, obviously that's aside from sleeping uh eating but they pretty much and depending on what they do too so the activities can differ from person to person an athlete's schedule might be different than somebody who works a corporate job or somebody who's still a student or somebody that's you know maybe doing both so but it in essence, it's uh, no matter what your position is and whatever goals that you may have, it's every single day pretty much sticking to a set routine and then kind of sticking that out, not for a week, not for a month, not even maybe for a year. It could be multiple years until you achieve what you know what it is that you're striving for, whether that's uh, graduating school, uh, getting a certification, looking for a new job, building a business. Um, you know, if you're an athlete, uh, making the team, you know, being a starter, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, losing weight, or if you're trying to get into shape, like this applies to many different fields, but the core of it all is having a discipline. And that discipline is really easy when, let's say, what you're doing is actually working or you're seeing progress. Now, where discipline comes into its greatest effect is those, you know, weeks, days, maybe months in which you're not seeing any progress, but you're still sticking to the same routine. Now, maybe you're kind of maybe adjusting the routine or maybe trying a few things differently, but the core, you're still taking action of what you set out to do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So me, for example, uh, this is where I started to develop really good discipline after graduating school you know, working, you know, building some other stuff up, uh, working out, uh, learning new, you know, skills, languages, etc. Um, none of that happens overnight. None of that even happens in a year. It can maybe take multiple years, but as long as, you know, you have the, you know, urge to strive, the passion to learn it, uh, that's one thing, which is good. You're kind of setting that target, but in order to kind of build towards it, you do need that discipline because yes, even if you want to, you have a high passion for something, there's going to be days in which you really don't feel like doing it. You know, I don't, maybe there's days I don't feel like going to the gym or I don't feel like, you know, reading this or, you know, I just kind of want, want to lay down, um, watch a sporting event or watch a TV show. You know, everybody has those days, but this is where the discipline really comes in. And you can't really teach discipline. I would only say that you can uh, either, if you have somebody in your life that you kind of look up to, if they are, you know, if they have the discipline, you can kind of look to them as an inspiration. Another book that I'll a book that I'll recommend is uh, a book about I forgot the name of it actually, but it's uh, it's centered around discipline. It's by Jocko Willenick. Uh, maybe some of you have heard and seen it. I'll leave a link down below in the description. But for some reason, I just uh, lost my train of thought. But I'll probably attach a screen grab in this video to kind of get you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. But uh, you can't really teach discipline. Like you can't teach somebody for them to work hard. You can let them know about the benefits of it. And if you do it, action always speaks louder than words. Like you can be used as an example, but it really has to come down to the core, um, to that person making their own decision and getting used to it and kind of going it, going through it themselves. So that's why, you know, I think it's a little bit pointless to kind of try to teach motivation, discipline, hard work. Uh, the best case is really to set an example and then also maybe recommend a few books here and there, which is kind of like what I'm doing in this video. And the book is called Discipline Equals Freedom. I believe that's the title, but that's the book I recommend. Probably the best book on discipline uh, around this topic for you guys to check out if you haven't already. So guys, with that, uh, the point being, whatever it is you want in your life, you need the discipline. Um, nothing good comes easy. Everything that you want, it's achievable. And this is not just kind of like, you know, uh, high praise or some kind of motivational video. I'm telling you that you can have it, but 
most of the time you're gonna to have to take the discipline and the work in order to achieve it. And I learned this through personal experience. I know others have through their own personal experiences. Um, this is not something that, you know, it's easy to cheat, but once you do it, you have that reference experience and you kind of built in the skill and habit that you're gonna to have to apply to, not just temporarily, but for the most part permanently uh, for the rest of your life, you know, as long as for however ambitious, you know, that you are. So guys, with that, um, I hope this video was very helpful or at least somewhat helpful. Uh, please pass it along. Uh, please, again, check out the book, Discipline Equals Freedom, if you want to kind of like a more detailed, uh, you know, kind of training guide uh, for this topic. Um, it's a good guide. Uh, it's an easy read. Of, I finished it relatively fast. Not sponsored, but I just, you know, refer to the book from time to time. I think it's a great read, and I'm happy to pass it along to you guys as well. So, guys, with that, again, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.